Good morning, everyone. And it's prayer time again. We've had a week of just um, being in the word of God, and it is now time for us to spend some time to pray some of those things that God has been speaking to us. It's time for us to pray them into manifestation. And I have a specific word for somebody today. The Lord specifically said to tell you, don't give up. Do not give up. And so that's what we are going to be praying about today. I talked a lot about preparation this week. And I said that if we, are, if we prepare and we prepare appropriately, when the time of our blessing comes, that we will recognize it and we will be able to just flow into it. Jesus said something critical in Luke 19 verse 44. He said, the people did not know the time of their visitation. He said, you did not recognize the time of your visitation. And it was because they did not recognize the time of their visitation. That was why they were going to be in serious trouble. So our prayer today is, Lord, help me to be prepared. Help because preparation makes you sensitive in the spirit. When you are preparing for something, you are watching everything around you to make sure that what you are preparing for gets done or happens. So you are sensitive in the spirit. So we want to go ahead and pray this today. Lord, help me. Help me to take preparation seriously. Help me to take preparation, Lord God, with the seriousness that it, it, it needs. Holy Spirit, Help me to be prepared. Go ahead and lift up your voice to the Lord today. First, thank him. Thank him. Thank him that he has brought you this far. Thank him that he has helped you up till now. Thank him that he will continue to help you. Now say to him, I thank you, my father. It is of your mercy that I am still standing. It is of your mercy that I am still where I am. It is of your mercy, O God of heaven, that I can do all that I am doing. And I want to say thank you because you have helped me, O God. I want to say thank you, O God of heaven, because you have been with me. I want to say thank you, O God of heaven, because you have not failed me. You have not let me down. You have preserved my life. I want to thank you, my Father, because you have preserved my senses. I want to thank you, O God, because continually you've been sending me a word in season. I want to thank you, O God of heaven, for opening my ears to hear the word, the word of deliverance, the word, the word of blessing, the word of breakthrough, the word of victory. The word that can take me to my next level. Thank you, O God of heaven, because you have not allowed me to, to, to experience a famine of your word. Father, I thank you. I thank you because your word brings life. Your word is going to bring me life. I thank you, Almighty God, because your word brings hope. And Lord God, your word is going to bring me hope. I want to thank you, Mighty Father, because your word is life. And your word will bring life to me today in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, my Father. You have not left me. You have not abandoned me, Lord. You have not neglected me. You have not forgotten me. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Lord, for my battles that you are fighting, even the ones that I do not know anything about. Because you are the God that does not slumber. You are awake and you are watching me. And so, Father, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to honor you. I want to appreciate you. I want to exalt you. I want to magnify you. Father, Lord, I bless you and I'm grateful. Thank you, everlasting God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want us to pray. Jesus said, he said, the day, he said to them in Luke 19 verse 44, he said the days will come when your enemies will surround and barricade you on every side. He said, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. These people were going to suffer because when their time of visitation came, they were not prepared. They were not sensitive in the spirit. They did not know. They did not know. They were ignorant. Because they had not been prepared. You remember yesterday when we were talking, I said to us that Simeon was in the temple and Anna the prophetess. They had been praying for decades. So when the Lord Jesus Christ came into the temple, the baby Jesus was brought in, they recognized him. 
They recognized the time of their visitation. They recognized the fulfillment of the prophecy that God had given hundreds of, hundreds of years before then. Reco they recognized the magnitude of the period, of the season, of the time they were in because they were prepared. And a time of great visitation is going to come for you, for everyone who is hearing me. A time of great visitation will come. A momentous season of visitation will come. And I want you to be prepared because the time will definitely come. That season will definitely come. But we will only partake of it if we are prepared, if we recognize that time. So we are going to ask God, Lord, <laughs> help me. Help me, O oh God of heaven, to daily prepare. Let me be in a state of perpetual preparation. Lord, let me be sensitive in your spirit. Help me, O oh God. Help me to put away distractions. Help me to put away non-essentials. Non Help me to put away things that are not important. Help me, Lord God, to prioritize. Help me, Lord, to be focused. Help me, Lord, touch my vision. Touch my vision, oh God. Help me to see. Because one of the reasons why we miss our time of visitation is because we cannot see, we cannot recognize what God is doing. These people did not recognize when the blessing of God was upon them. And the blessing moved away. Ah, Rabbi Shikte Help me, oh God. Father, help me. Let me, Lord God, not miss the time of my visitation. Touch me, my Father. Touch my eyes. Anoint my eyes with salve. Let me see. Let me recognize the time of my visitation. Help me to be in a state of preparation. Help me, Lord God, not to be negligent. Help me, Almighty God, not to be careless. Help me, my Father and my God, take carelessness away from me. Help me, Lord, to be prepared. A time of visitation is coming. Lord, help me to be prepared. Help me to recognize my time. Help me to recognize my season. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. No matter how bad things may look all around us, we serve a God who is able to do everything. There's nothing. There's no problem he cannot solve. And so even when you look around you and it seems as if things are bad, I want you to look up and look and see that there's a God in heaven who has all resources at his disposal. And the Lord said to tell somebody definitely today, he said, don't give up. Don't give up. He said specifically to somebody, he said, even though you missed your time of visitation, he said, I will give you another season. 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 So who, if, if you are that person, I want you to lift up your voice right now and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for a new season, Lord God. Another opportunity, a second chance, my Father. Even though for lack of preparation, I missed my season. Thank you because now you are giving me a second chance. You are giving me a second chance. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Go ahead and ask him, Lord, I don't want to miss my second chance. I don't want to miss my second chance. Lord, help me, help me to be, help me to be aware, Lord God, help me to be aware. Help me not to miss this second chance. Don't let me miss this other opportunity for visitation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And the reason why, for me, that is a particularly important prayer is, I told you before, for those who are, of you who have known me for a long time, I said the reason why I serve God the way I serve him now is because he gave me a second chance. I was born again when I was much, much younger. And then I backslided. I backslided so much. If, you, if, if anybody was preaching the gospel, if I was watching TV and the gospel minister came on, I would turn it off. I was in that terrible backsliding state. But God gave me a second chance. He gave me a second chance. 
I was able to surrender my life again to him. And from that second time till now, I have not looked back. So don't give up. Don't give up. God is saying to somebody, I will help you. I will give you a new season. You missed that season, but I will give you a new season. Don't give up. I want us to lift up our voices to him right now. And I want us to ask, Father, I am surrendering myself to you. I am submitting myself to you. I am giving myself up to you. I come under your lordship from this moment. I surrender everything to you. Lord, come and be lord of my life. Come and take control. Come and take control in the name of Jesus. And you have to pray this prayer. Whether or not, if you are not born again, it's a prayer to, to, to surrender your life to Jesus, to become a Christian, for him to take away your sins. And if you have already surrendered your life to Jesus, it's a prayer of consecration. It's a prayer of reconsecration. You are going to say, Lord, I surrender to you. I submit to you. I give up my life to you today. Come and take control. Come and take hold. I never ever want to miss my season again. I never ever want to meet the, miss the time of my visitation again. Father, visit me. Lord, help me. Lord, watch over me. Lord, bless me. Lord, restore times and seasons to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Like I said, we had been praying about, about preparation. So we want to pray. We want to pray. There's a greater preparation that we need to make. It's the preparation for the coming of the Lord. Whether we see him having to pass through the valley of the shadow of death, or we go with him in the rapture, whichever way we have to be prepared to meet the Lord. Our garments have to be clean. Our lives have to be clean and spotless. We want to pray, Father, please help me to be prepared when it is time for me to meet with you. Don't let me be left behind. Don't let me miss your everlasting presence. Whatever is in my life, Lord, that will be a barrier that will, not pre that will prevent me from being with you always forever. Lord, help me to prepare and remove it now. This is the time to, for preparation. Lord, help me to be prepared. Help me to remove it now. That is part of preparation. Living holy is <laughs> part of preparation. Lord, help me. Help me, oh God. I don't want to miss your everlasting presence. Help me. Help me as I prepare, Lord God, for your everlasting presence. To take away everything that is sinful, every iniquity from my life. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and bless the Lord. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and appreciate him. Thank him for that new season he's given you. Thank him for that new opportunity he's given you. Thank him for helping you to be prepared. Preparation gave, gave, gave um, Abraham and Sarah a child in their old age. They did not miss the day of their visitation. If you have missed any of the uh, sessions this week, go back and listen to every single one of the sessions because they have built up to this hour. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord watch over you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord restore seasons to you. In the name of Jesus. That visitation that you missed. May the God of heaven give you a second opportunity. A second chance. In Jesus name. Father we honor you today. And we appreciate this time of prayer in your presence. Lord God help us to be prepared. Help us to be prepared. For that mighty visitation that you have talked to us about. And Lord, when that time comes, when that time happens, Father, help us to be sensitive in the spirit to key into that visitation. Lord, help us to be fully prepared to enter into, to flow into the time of your blessing, the time of your visitation, the time of breakthrough, the time of your miracle power. Lord, help us not to miss that season of our life. We honor and we thank you, O God, for the great and awesome things you are doing. And for that person, oh God, who has been on the verge of giving up, who this morning was saying, I give up. Lord, I pray for a fresh presence. 
Lord God, of your spirit upon them, that you will lift them up, O oh God. And Lord, that you will infuse them with hope. You will infuse them with peace. You will infuse them with joy. And Lord, that they will have a fresh visitation of your grace and of your power. Father, thank you for a totally new beginning. In Jesus' most precious name, amen and amen. You are blessed and it's been wonderful today. It's Reflections with Fumi Obilano. Again, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you, 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 you share with all the people on your social platform, whether it's Facebook, send them. We are also on YouTube. Send them that YouTube um, URL and let them be a part of what God is doing. The Lord bless you and may you be prepared for your day of blessing in Jesus' name. It's Reflections, Fumi Obilano.